Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. Happy Saturday. I hope everybody's doing good today. So it is a lot going on, child. I got up a little bit ago. First of all, shout out to all my peoples in Atlanta. I don't know what the hell is going on down in the A, but I'm waking up. People sending me videos and shit. Y'all are flooding down there. Please stay safe. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know Atlanta is like my second home. Um, I miss y'all. I'll be back soon. But damn it, what is going on with this global warming? The weather everywhere is crazy. Libya done flooded. They said close to 11,000 people done died in Libya. We had the earthquakes in Morocco. And now the hood part of Atlanta is flooding. Like, what's the T, y'all? What is the T? But anyways, on top of me getting hit up by my AT alien peoples, um, I'm also getting hit up about all this stuff that went down this morning with Kenneth Zupetti, a.k.a. Nicki Minaj's husband and baby daddy, um, and Offset. It has been a mess. Right now, Twitter, a.k.a. X, honey, is in shambles right now. Kenneth is trending number one. Off Cheat is trending number two. And Cardi and Offset are, <laughs> are trending number three. This entire situation is a hot damn mess, but it's time for me to break it down, okay? So, you know, I've been watching all this play out for like the past few days, and it's just getting crazier. So I know y'all are here for the breakdown. Y'all are here for the tea. So make sure y'all go ahead and get y'all's teacups because y'all already know this. This tea about to be piping hot, okay? So what's going down is this. Basically, everything started around the VMAs. Y'all remember my VMA recap? Um, thank y'all for the wonderful feedback. I had a good time. None of that stuff is personal. I've been doing outfit reviews now for like the past year or two. People like my outfit reviews because half the celebrities on the red carpet. I don't even know who they are, child. But anyways... Um, that aside, the VMAs, like I said, I hadn't watched in a long time, but I decided to watch the whole show and I enjoyed it. Nikki was hosting, even though we only saw Nikki maybe three times. Um, but other than that, it was a good show. And so, you know, there was a bit of controversy that came from the show. Nikki, of course, was popping her shit. Not only did she debut a new song where she was dissing the girls. All oh, these bitches is out of their league. These bitches ain't patting like me. These bitches ain't patting than me. But later on, she came out and hit the stage with Red Ruby the Sleaze. 700 doing them horses when I'm fixing the leave. But I'll f since Christopher Ray. And so, you know what I'm saying? She went in and folks wasn't, you know, people didn't know she was going to do that line. But she did. Twitter was lit. The VMAs were lit. Um, so... Anyhow, all of a sudden there was video backstage of Kenneth Zoo Petty and all his homeboys. They were taking pictures on the, you know, the red carpet and all this stuff. And people had a lot of things to say about them being on the red carpet, particularly DJ Academics. Y'all go ahead and check this out. I remember looking at his picture and saying, everybody in this picture look 40. <laughs> like, I ain't gonna lie. That was just the only thing that was just funny to me. I'm like, wait, everybody in this picture is like 40. Like these niggas need to go get the like, these niggas need to go get a a a a a a a a colonoscopy or some shit like that. You gotta get your colon checked, my nigga, for colon cancer. Fuck is that? Fuck is that? The VMAs trying to beat people up. What's going on? Yo, gooning gotta have a limit to it, bro. Like the gooning gotta have a limit, bro. Like the gooning, like we gotta have a limit to gooning, bro. All right, so you guys just heard what DJ Academics had to say. Now, I'm going to say this. I love how people who are not much younger love to age shame. Even if they're 40, my dude, are you 21? Or are you closer to 40 than you are 20? You know, everybody on social media let it act like they're 21 when they're damn near grown too. You better hope you make it to 40 and that you know your liver's intact and everything else from all that drinking you be doing on live, sir, okay? It's a blessing to be 40. I get tired of the age shaming because a lot of y'all be in y'all's 20s and y'all look like y'all done had a 40-year-old life by the face and body, okay? So he could have said, you know, they're a bit too grown to be trying to look tough. But, you know, all the extra stuff about colonoscopies and people being 40s when you're not much younger than them is very interesting. But anyways, so that picture went viral. But then there was a video that also went viral. And Kenneth Petty's homeboy, his name is Only the Sturdy. 
sturdy. He was basically adding Cardi B and he says this, ask I am Cardi B why she mad, big queens in the building. We just different on this side, real sturdy, diehard shit. Then he ends up messaging her again. He says, I am Cardi B. We ain't your average queens niggas, big dog shit at only sturdy. And then they end up posting this video where they're kind of sending veil threats to Offset. So y'all go ahead and check this. You know it's sharp, nigga. The sturdiest, nigga. Big swing. Biggest swing, nigga. Long so we see Kenneth Petty say, you know, don't act stupid. He does the wink. He does a little, you know, pow, pow salute. And so that was going viral on social media the day after the VMAs. Cardi B took to Instagram and she basically said, we ain't even flinch. And a lot of people didn't know what she was talking about, but she was, you know, responding to Sturdy and Zoo. And then during her live on, I think, Twitter, um, she said this. So y'all go ahead and check this out. Told you I bought receipts, child. Check it out. First thing first, I'm going to let y'all know this. My nigga handles shit quietly. My nigga handles shit quietly. That's one. Second of all, I be everywhere comfortably. And that's it. So y'all heard Cardi B basically admitting that, you know, her nigga Offset is handling stuff quietly. She's saying they didn't flinch. But a lot of people jumped into her comments and were like, well, you didn't flinch because you ran or y'all were there. Y'all didn't even stay. So, you know, social media was low key dragging her. And then the fact that they had a lot of security around them. And then there was another picture that went viral of uh, little Uzi Vert just, you know, standing in the middle of New York City. No security, I guess, in sight. I don't know. So people were, com you know, comparing Offset and Cardi to Uzi and saying, you know, they talk tough, but they're not really about that life. Child, Twitter has been a mess for days i just been sipping and getting full honey so i'm here to you know refill y'all's cup so that's what a lot of folks were saying about the situation and then today we wake up and all hell done broke loose child uh sturdy ends up posting video of kenneth zupetti and the crew and they're basically going at offset you know they definitely feel away they're upset. They're mad. So I want y'all to go ahead and watch these videos, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Ah, offset, where you at? That's it. Got to spin that shit. I'm like a zai, nigga. I go Kanye, nigga. I'm going to shop, man. I'm going to shop, yeah. What's up? Uh -huh. We outside, uh, big zoo outside, outside nigga. Uh, big outside, queens, right? Uh, you right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Drop your low now, yeah. nigga. Drop your low now, nigga. What you got? Them niggas, yeah. all subtle yeah. niggas. Them niggas acting yeah. like niggas. DM Shut me. Up. Yo, where you at? Yo, we yeah, yeah. We outside. We yeah. run this city, nigga. Right. Don't let these niggas fool you. Right. We run this city, nigga. Right. You see the addresses on the buildings, nigga. Up, man? You see the plates What's on the up, cars, up, nigga. Up, man? What's going on? What's happening? What's happening? What y'all niggas talking about? Yeah. Mm. What the fuck yeah. are you talking about, man? Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk, man. Let's yeah. talk. Yeah. Out here. Yeah. 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 We ain't talking, man. Yeah. Yeah. Pussy ass yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. I think y'all playing with me. And yeah. the money right. Yeah. The yeah. money right. Yeah, 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 the yeah, money yeah. right, nigga. Yeah. What yeah. the fuck is yeah. you talking about? Stupid. That's them? Oh, no, that oh, ain't that them. Oh, no, that ain't them. That ain't them. That ain't them. <laughs> ah, spin, nigga. Yeah. You know that. And we out here. Oh, we, how long y'all want to be on us with us for us? Uh, how long y'all want to stay here, man? Until y'all niggas come. Hold on. How we add them niggas on there, man? We want to tell them niggas, man. Hey, man. 
We drop add them niggas in. So one of y'all, one of y'all add them, add them niggas in shit, you heard? Tell them niggas, tell them niggas big suit, big suit, big queens outside, nigga. Whole gang outside. Tell them niggas, nigga. It's not a million niggas, nigga. It's just the stories, though. That's it. What's up? Look, we right here. We not mobbing, we hitting them. Look, nigga, we here. What's going on? Hold on. How you do that? Them niggas sending, them niggas sending me DMs, like I ain't cuckoo. Like I ain't cuckoo. <laughs> I wish I would have knew that. Yeah, that's a fact. I would have choked though. them in the seat section. Come on, my nigga. The next awards, <laughs> we got a million securities them. around them, man. We got yeah. yeah. you. Oh, exactly. Real shit. Yeah. Nigga, smack, them smack, 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 stupid. Smack all them little things. Now, out yo, your come here. Let them in. Real shit. Nigga, look at whole ass nigga. And knock a veneer out of mouth. Stupid. Ball mouth. Niggas ain't playing, man. This is fucking clowns, homie. Super fucking clowns, man. Till they get it, man. That's a natural motherfucking clown. Why with these niggas, man? All right, so y'all just watched that video, but I don't know if you caught this because a lot of people are saying, you know, they're too old to be doing this. This is BS. This is, you know, trash behavior. And I agree, you know, they are definitely too grown at their big ages to be on the block. You know, a a a, come see me. But I don't know if y'all peeped. Sturdy said that Offset DM them first. Let me go ahead and run that back. We outside. Somebody tell Offset because Offset DM me. He DM me. Come on, man. Nigga that, DM nigga. Cuckoo. We go, he off Tell the him. set. That whole game can suck a dick. Nigga, he <laughs> off the set. Yo, <laughs> niggas no, 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 put you off the nigga. set, nigga. What the fuck you talking about? <laughs> you know if I had you scared, boy. Yeah. Yeah. Niggas off the set. You know if I had you scared, boy. A lot of y'all niggas. Me too. A lot of y'all niggas, man. Up top, y'all wasn't Y'all niggas checking in? At all. Keep keep believing in these niggas. Legendary. Keep believing in these pussy ass niggas. Y'all niggas checking in? This is pussy, man. Wow. Wow. Let's go, man. Niggas Let's been go, right man. here for mad long, no. Eh? They say oh, we man. dumb. We all dumb. Yeah, so fuck it. Eh? Yeah. Yeah, we off this, man. Time for them clown ass. All right, so you guys heard them say Offset slid in my DMs first. Offset said something to us first. And so it looks like Offset was doing something, and that is them responding to Offset. And even Cardi B said that her man handles stuff, you know what I'm saying, behind the scenes on the low. I'm inclined to believe them because this is Offset's MO. This is not the first time that Offset has slid into people's DMs. If you guys remember two years ago when um, Shira Ali was beefing with Cardi, um, Offset ended up sliding into her DMs and they went back and forth and Ra Ali ended up posting this. This was last year. So Offset says, you better be safe, ho. I'm a catch your ass. And then Ra Ali says, you just seen me at the VMAs and you ain't do shit, pussy. Offset replies and says, no reason to. I'm going to mind my business. Leave me alone, brah. I'm a man. Do lady business. And then she says, nigga, suck a dick. And then Offset says, okay, tough guy. Again, Offset slid into her DMs first. And then when she replied back, he, you know, all of a sudden, leave me alone. But you ran to her DMs. Okay. Anyways. And then um, Akbar V a while back had accused Offset of calling her. Remember, that's when Nicki Minaj had that super freaky girl song and she did the Queen mix and it had all the girls on there. JT, Bia, Katie Got Bands, Akbar, and Malibu Mitch. And they were all going back and forth with Cardi around that time. So Akbar came out and basically said that Offset had called her because Akbar and Cardi had gotten into it. So Akbar says... Offset calling, talking about you shouldn't have put me in it, nigga. All I got to do is make one call, three letters, four PF. You going to shit yourself like you did behind the compound. Now, for y'all who don't know, four PF is Little Baby's crew. Um, it was rumored back, you know, a few years ago they had got into it and, you know, jumped Offset or whatever. So that's what she was bringing up back in 2022. Asa replied back to her and says, police ass ho, I ain't call you. And if any nigga play with me, get blitz, ax around. Okay. So Offset has had a history of, you know, jumping into DMs. And even if we don't believe Akbar, you know what I'm saying, 
remember the whole situation that went down in 2019 with Chris Brown and Offset. Chris Brown had posted a meme of 21 Savage when he got into it with some stuff with, you know, ice. And so Offset was not feeling the meme because Offset and them are really cool with 21 Savage. And so they went back and forth on social media. Chris Brown was like mad. He told Offset to suck his peen. So basically um, when Chris Brown posted the meme... Offset said, memes ain't funny, lame. And Chris Brown says, F you, little boy. Better worry about what you gonna do and focus on you. I don't cap on IG. This cap on IG is what's lame. Your energy weren't like that when you came to the Drake show in LA. If you don't get your hip hop, hip it to the hip hip hop, you don't stop rocking face out my comments. Sensitive ass nigga, call me personally. You want some clout when all you got to do is pull up, no cameras, no flexing at all. You a real man, fight me, and oh, on another thing, suck my dick. Okay, so they went back and forth. He posted memes about Offset. And then Chris Brown posted DMs of Offset sliding into his DMs. And Chris Brown, you know, was like, well, we can fight it out. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this here really quick. Offset hits him up and says, where you at? Chris Brown says, I'm in LA. I'll be home at four. Like I said before, I am with all that. You can run me my fade today. No cap. Offset says, Addy. Chris Brown says, police ass nigga, you know where I stay. Google Maps. My address ain't no secret. Spot, I'll be there at four. Offset calls him the police. Chris Brown basically shows this on social media and says, this nigga is scary. And they go back and forth for a while. Um, then Chris Brown ends up sending him the address and says, my address, please pull up. I pray you come. Offset then calls him 12. And then Chris Brown says, boy, run my fade. Stop acting pussy. And then it ends when Offset basically says something to the effect like, you ain't never been known for fighting dudes. All you do is put hands on women, referring to the whole Chris Brown and Rihanna situation. So I am very inclined to believe this dude sturdy that Offset did say something to them first and slid in his DMs, especially being that Cardi B basically co-signed it by saying that, you know, Offset was handling stuff behind the scenes. So now this morning, Offset has decided to respond back to them by basically calling them broke and hopping off of a jet. So y'all go ahead and check this out. <laughs> I'm getting out of the jet, you know what I mean? These niggas talking about, what are these niggas talking about? These niggas broke. We up in our jets, bitch. Y'all niggas got that. Y'all niggas. All right, so you guys just saw Offset's response. It is getting even messier. I swear, every time I refresh my damn Twitter timeline, it is more mess. I've been trying to edit this video for like the past two hours, but more stuff just keeps coming out. So now more receipts are being pulled. And so basically they are showing that Offset was in his DM. And it looks like Offset jumped in their DMs after they were, you know, talking mess about Cardi online. Because after Cardi B wrote, we didn't even flinch, um, then they go on to write this, talking about you ain't flinch, you already exposed your hand, sound like you mother effers is nervous. So that was their response to Cardi, and then Offset jumped into their DMs and he said this, where you located, you niggas is pussy, speaking on female business, talking crazy, broke ass, don't got no money for war. So now that's been posted as well. Now, also what's trending, now earlier um, I told y'all what was trending, well what's currently trending now is Cardi and Offset, Nicki Minaj, and your BD is a zero, okay? That this that I've been talking about in bongos that so many people miss. My baby daddy amigo, your baby daddy a zero, okay? That was the diss towards Nikki, and now that is trending all over social media, and folks are dragging Kenny and crew, okay? So, Nicki Minaj has decided to respond, and here is Nicki Minaj's response right here. Ciao. Oh, my gosh. The mess, honey. Social media is keeping me fed this afternoon, ciao. <laughs> You, 
So this entire situation is just messy as hell. And I think at this point, everybody, I don't care if you're in your 20s, 30s, or 40s, everybody's too grown for this mess. I think both of these men are making both their brands look bad. This whole back and forth, them jumping into DMs, all of this beefing and throwing subs. You know what I'm saying? I, I just think it's just unnecessary. You know, the VMAs was supposed to be a good time. Did I expect Cardi B and Megan to sit in the audience and, you know, cheer Nicki Minaj performances on? No. They don't like each other. They've been beefing for years. I didn't expect them to stay. You know, but I just think that all of this is just not warranted, especially, let's not forget, you know, it's going to be a year soon that we lost takeoff. You know, this man died, you know, because of gun violence, all that nonsense down in Texas. And now we're sitting here going back and forth and sending threats on social media. It's not that serious. I think it's sad. And let's not forget, Zoo's actually about that life. You know, all these people talking mess, you know, Zoo got a body. Zoo has been in and out of jail. He has a long criminal record. We've all seen his damn mug shots. So that's not really somebody I would play around with or even slide in their DMs. They look like they have nothing to lose. Again, and when you have nothing to lose, you will crash the fuck out. So, you know, I wouldn't really antagonize these men. It's just not that serious. You know, go to the award shows, get your awards, perform, have a good time. But, you know, just all of this back and forth, it's just really sad, you know, that this is what hip hop has come down to. And again, you know, Cardi B and Nicki, you know, beefing is nothing new. You know, the girls been beefing in hip hop since the days of, you know, Nicki Minaj, Foxy and everything else. But we don't want it to get to the streets. You know, because at one point in time, it got street with Foxy and Nikki too. You know, where their camps, they met up and clashed at Hot 97. You know, gunshots were, you know, fired. Thank God nobody died. But it can get really real in these streets. You know, these New York dudes, they don't give a fuck. <laughs> they be ready to crash out, okay? I'm not saying the Southern dudes don't either, but, you know, we don't call them nutty New Yorkers for nothing. That's all I'm going to say. So with that being said, y'all, I want to know y'all's thoughts on this entire situation. How do y'all feel about this? You know, once again, you know, the girls and the guys now are fighting. The girls are fighting. No. <laughs> the girls are fighting. <laughs> so I look forward to reading y'all's comments, child. I know it's about to be a Barty gang barb war in the comments, but you know what? I got my teacup ready and I'm here to sip, child. Y'all go ahead and have fun. Whose team are y'all on? Are y'all siding with Nikki and the Barbs and Kenneth Petty on this one? Or do you feel like, you know, your team Barty gang and you're siding with Offset and Cardi? Or do you feel like folks are throwing rocks and hiding their hands? You know, I want to know y'all's thoughts. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. I will talk to y'all later. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Feel free to share the video. Most importantly, please make sure you're still subscribed to my channel, honey. YouTube is still out here unsubscribing, folks. Mm. We see you, YouTube. All right, y'all. Enjoy your Saturday. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.